Hello, and welcome to Without Fathom. I'm Whimsy. And I'm McGovern. And this is Moonlighter episode 14. Woo! Ah, yeah, and we just got our butts kicked in the forest dungeon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, we did. kicked a lot. <laughs> so we're going to go to bed now. Um, we did get that egg, though. Yes. Woohoo! Yay. <laughs> Yeg. Ye old egg. Yay, egg. Yay, Yay. egg. <laughs> I don't know, I'm too tired for this <laughs> bedtime. All right, I already threw the rest of our stuff into the box. So we're just gonna leave our bed unmade. We're gonna go, Will, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go back into that dungeon with more potions and maybe an enchantment on our spear. So we're gonna kick some leafy butt. <laughs> Ready? All let's right. Go. All right, let's go. Is there a sword on the wall? Where? Right there. Oh yeah. I wonder if this is a uh, Pete's sword. Hmm. Oh, crazy Pete. All right, off we go. Hmm. Ah, it's a beautiful day in Renoka. Ooh, who is this lady? I bet it's a hero clearing the dungeons. Not this merchant I keep hearing about. He wouldn't have the proper gear. Ma'am, where do you think heroes get their gear? I just... Rude. It's like, do you think they make it? No. They have to buy it. <laughs> okay. Not dealing with you, old woman. <laughs> We're going straight down here. To Eris. Yes, fresh potions. Excellent. We are here for those fresh potions. Oh, yep. they're up again. Well, it's 800 per this time. Mm. I'm sure like before like 600 or I, I don't remember. It was seven something, mm -hmm. I think. So, but we don't really have any jelly to sell right now. So we can't knock it back down. So let's see, let's do five. Yeah, just five to. So we'll have five in up. our pocket. Mm-hmm. All right, so we got 33, and then we need two of these. Yeah. Unless you just want to do three and try to make a run for it. That might be a good idea. Just make a run for the, the third floor totally. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see how much. That's going to be like 5,000. Okay, we just 8, do two. Let's, let's do two. Then just try to do better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If we manage to get back, then we'll have a map of the dungeon anyway, and could then just run to it. Yeah. The boss room, if you want to try that. Yeah. Well, and also two of them will get us first floor, second floor, so that should mm -hmm. get us to the third floor, yeah, which is what we want. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So that's totally fine. Uh, na -na. All right. Oh, right. We were going to... Okay, here's the thing. We're down to 28, and an enchantment would be 16, and then we would not have enough... Well, we would... At least 12,000. 12,000. Okay, that would be enough for the portal is eight. So yeah, we could do that. Let's do mm -hmm. enchantment. Spear? Yeah. All right. Ooh, oh, look almost at 700. that. Sweet, sweet damage. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, hey, Tomo. How are you doing? I've been thinking. The dungeon seems so structured and so consistent. It each dungeon houses such a unique culture. Why is that? Why so different but oh so similar at the same time? That's a good question. And how about the slime in the dungeon doors? You can't see through it and it's like nothing I've ever seen in these lands. Who even wanted to test those doors by walking through the slime first? Now that is a great question, Tomo. <laughs> Tomo asking the serious stuff. Hey Will! Found any work of Crazy Pete's notes? Have you, friend? I learn something new every time I read one of his journals. Us too. All right. Well, Do I'd like to stay and chat more, but we've got to go jump into a mysterious slime. Mm -hmm. That's a really valid question. Like, who was the one that was like, ah, oh, this slime door. I will definitely go through that. <gasps> Look. No. A leaf friend. What's the description on him? All right, let's see. No. Look at his leaf. It's so big. It's... So much bigger than him. Wind tree sprout modified to be able to walk and use its leaf to create wind flows. Mm -hmm. 
That's adorable. Right, we'll have to at least try that. Okay. We'll bring we'll bring Leaf Buddy. Jelly friend, you get you tap a wrist. Ooh, modified sprout whose leaves are sharp as a sword. Ooh. Nice. Look at him. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's he so can tiny. barely drag that leaf. <laughs> Alright, here you go, my guy. Thank you. <laughs> I'll just be over here losing my mind. Mm -hmm. All right, hopping in. Okay. Lord. Right on time. Perfect. <laughs> oh, our new dungeon buddy mm. is so cute. He's just going to be distracting me the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should swap back to the slime then. Too late now. <laughs> Look at him. So adorable. Alright, boom. Right in our pocket. <laughs> oh, it's time one. Go, go, go. Oh. Ooh, there's only two. Nice. It is the daytime, so mm -hmm. should hopefully help us uh, get through a little faster. Let me check real quick. Make sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. careful, those fall. <laughs> oh, wow. No wonder things are dying so quickly. Oh, is he just hitting them with that, with the wind? No, it's me with my enchanted spear. Oh, yeah, that's right. 98 damage. Woohoo. All right. Elon damage. That tree. That tree doesn't know what's about to hit it. Oh, 200. Oh, dang. Oh. oh. Let's run. Run, 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 until it stops doing things. Gotcha. Our buddy's doing like 20 damage with that leaf. Dang. Woohoo! MacGuffin, you are terrible at dodging those seeds. They're hard to dodge. <laughs> also, Victory's Oak. Ah, yes. Victory's Oak. I wish our buddy could come in with us. Maybe, maybe he's not a water fan. It seems like he'd be buoyant. You'd think so, yeah. What if he floated around on his little leaf? Oh, oh no, that'd be so cute. Oh man, I wish I could draw. <laughs> All right, floor two. Use okay. All right, leaf friend, let's go. Oh, no. ah. yeah. Okay, I think that box is normal, but I make no promises. <laughs> Wow, the two of you are making like quick work of. Oh, that's a that's a slime there. Get oh, it. I thought it was just poisoned. It had like it must have been something. It had like little spores on it. Let's see. Ooh, we got a curse breaker. Curse breaker. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. Preserved root. There we go. That's the way. Oh no! Ooh, oh no! Oh, we haven't seen a big one of those yet. There's a little mushroom on its head. Not a... Oh, oh. Oh, ooh, potion. We are poisoned right now. Are you getting poisoned by the slimes? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's no good. Oh. Don't like that at all. Oof. I think that's the kind of slime that um, Eris has mm -hmm. behind her house. The little mushroom yeah. gave it away. Was it always that, or did it change once we changed dungeons? The yellow slimes? Yeah. The one in her pen. Um. Oh, that's a good question. I think it might have changed. Have to go back and review our footage. Maybe roll a little. Or oop, there you go. Yeah, yeah. You got it. You got it. My little bud, <laughs> shipping away. Oh, look at that beautiful damage. Sorry, I called you out. You're doing great. <laughs> Boom! Oh. Woohoo! 
Oh man. Victory soak! Come on, Get little that buddy. Victory soak. Ah, oh, we did good. Oh. We've got three potions left. <laughs> So we should definitely do some exploring once we get down there. Uh, does anything need to be rearranged in here? I think we're good. Okay. Yeah. All right, little bud, let's go. I bet it was fun coming up with the different themes for all these dungeons. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, let's go Ooh. this way. Do you hear this music right now? I don't know. Uh -huh. Oh no! Alright, I'm watching our points. Trying not to get distracted uh -huh. by the delightful music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a breakable. Ooh. Comes to start Multiplier. Back, breakable. Sends home, sends home. Alright, you could put the multiplier on the jelly. Hmm. Should we, we got... just send the breakable ones home? Uh, yeah, those ones are um, up on the expensive list, so yeah, th those would be good ones to send home. Especially that one. There we go. Alright, and then... If you want, if That's... you need any space, yeah, I was gonna say you can throw that life fluid directly into the mirror. Like I said, we have like five stacks of that. <laughs> Probably more. <laughs> okay. Speed powder? That's good stuff. Yeah, it's up there with the old bulb, so this is the more expensive stuff. Oh, okay. yeah. This. Petals and flesh are less expensive, so those are, those can go down. That's below life fluid, but we need it for something. Yeah, well, we have at least 10 of them, so. Okay. I'd say put that orange jelly up there instead of the blade leaves. Okay. There we go. All that right. looks good. Yeah. All right, get that crystal. This one? The enchanted this, crystal. Oh. Okay. All right, here we go. Nice. Oh, oh, that was a good dodge. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, careful. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Perfect breaks. Curse breaker sent home. Hmm. Okay. Um. What if you? Can we break the curse on those roots? The fragile roots? Because yes. if so, then we can stack them with the other ones and send those all home. Because that'll be a full stack. Yeah. There we go. And then send them home, you said? Mm-hmm. You can also toss that in the mirror if it's going to be too much of a pain. Maybe. Toss that extra jelly in the mirror too. And the life water. In the corner, yeah. There we go. Let's grab those mysteries and onward! Okay. <laughs> adventurers. We got so many potions on our first run through here, you know? Yeah, we did. Guessing we're full up again. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, across we go. Unless you want to check the the thing real quick. 
Mm -hmm. uh, Anything you can toss or? You could toss a plant, that plant flesh there, the one that's seven. We don't need those currently. And then toss those jellies. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I don't see a timer or anything yet, so we still have... My hope is that we can find the pool. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay. Quick, okay. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Trouble in here. <laughs> Get out of there! Oh. I was gonna say, be careful of that one. Fighting with one of those is how we got knocked out in the last area. Oh. Lost it because they're full. That's okay, we can rearrange. Here in a sec. Ah. Oh. Alright. Oh, there goes that leaf. All right, let's see. Right, we can send something home, breaks curse, and we got a fragile. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's send that miss maybe one of the mystery ones home. Okay. The one that we've gotten there would be fine. I was thinking that fragile one and then just toss some of the mystery ones in the I mirror. mean, that also works. Ooh, that one got us to $2,500. There we go. Oh, we've got a curse breaker too. Mm -hmm. Should we do it on one of uh, these piles? Sure. Let's see what we got. Nice. Okay. That's one of the jottings. Yeah. I think that's Pure acid. Three. How are we carrying that? <laughs> Very carefully, uh -huh. of course. <laughs> All right, you can toss those petals. We have some at home, so we can still find the price on them. We have petals at home. We have petals at home. 100%. All right, just toss this. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, another 2,000 on that one. And are these worth much though no it's fine you can leave them okay the venomous spores are okay to leave all right let's go oh, i see some sparkles no oh, we just plant flesh there of our all plant right flesh. in we go <laughs> oh thank goodness oh yay sweet take it all <laughs> now make sure that that uh multiplier is pointed at the right one Oh, good idea. We had to put it back with the jelly. Let's move the jelly. Yeah. I think it'll only stack to ten, but eh. or I mean yeah. to five, not ten. Mm -hmm. oh, Worth it. Off you go. Ah, oh, sweet. Ooh. Look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, pool. That's not a fool. This is danger. <laughs> Perhaps you weren't listening, Dungeon. We said pool, please. <laughs> ah, dang it. Oh, goodness. There we go. We hit all those bushes. Let's see. Oh, wow. It's just all curse breaking. Okay, so we should careful not to point them at each other. Yes, basically. <laughs> Just a box full of curse breakers. <laughs> All right. Hee -hee. Look at them fly in the air. <laughs> That's so satisfying. <laughs> Hey. We made it! Uh, oh, 
We have not read this one yet. So let's go ahead. Who are these people? Even with our knowledge, the ones behind this, ooh, behind this are beyond us. We must focus and finish the LF1 serum. Our world depends on it. Huh. That's interesting. All right. Uh, we would not survive an encounter with the with the the uh, boss of this dungeon. Mm -hmm. So we should. There is at least one more room. Yeah. Should we go explore up there and then portal up? Yeah. Okay. I don't see the timer, but we know which way to run mm -hmm. when it appears. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, get that guy. Get him in this little bag. I'm not gonna lie to you, MacGuffin. I'm kinda getting the feeling that we might be the bad guy in this situation. <laughs> Unwittingly so. But, uh, I'm starting to get that impression from the notebooks. Or not the notebooks, but the notes that we keep mm -hmm. finding, you know? Alright, let's break the fra fragile curse. Do it, wait, 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 wait. Do it with the one that we can stack it with. Oh, clever, clever, yes. Thank you. Oh, that's wrong, please. Yay! Yay! Hm. Alright. Um, do the mystery one. I think we can do all of them, honestly. Yeah. Just pop, pop them all over there, and then you can move the other ones around. You know? There you go. Watch this. Put that mm -hmm. there. Ha! Ha ha ha, nice! And boom! Don't forget that one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, I could break the curse on it. And then stack it. Yes, and then stack it. Alright, let's also... Yeah, I was gonna say let's rearrange the stuff up top. All of those little slab looking ones should be up there. Yeah. Oh, that's not one. And the beetroot thing. There we Places. go. Fruits go. Oop, hold on. Mm, actually, leave the venomous spores up there. It's fine. Okay. All right. Next room. Oop. Oh. Oop. That one's really orange. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Oh, I see the timer. Okay, so it might be time to uh, run away. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, time to run. All right, McGuffin, stay away from it. I'm trying. <laughs> All right, don't stop running. <laughs> don't stop running. Oh, I do not like that noise. Which way? Up. Up. Oh no, we missed it. No, go up. Oh wait. Yeah, that's what's saying. Oh no, dang it. We went the wrong way. Oh no. <laughs> we are in trouble. I don't think it'll appear as long as we don't stay in one room too long. Yeah. So next one we go left. There we go. We want to make it appear in here and then run. Nah. Okay. No. Quickly. Uh, thing. Yes. Yes. Open the portal. Yes. And in we go. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> Go to town. Yay! Successful dungeoning! <laughs> ah. <laughs> and I think that actually at this point, we're getting close to time, but not quite. So we don't have enough. Do not have enough time to um, do any selling or do another run. However. If only we had some sort of 
reading thing to do. Oh man, I do love reading. Hmm. Hmm, maybe we could do a relic reading? <gasps> Alright, let's see. Where we, should we start? We should start in the dungeon golem. The dungeon golem. The dungeon golem. <laughs> <laughs> the golem dungeon, even. Vine, a strong yet flexible material used by the tangle creatures to protect themselves. Oh. Teeth stone. Very sharp stones commonly found on the bodies of ancient golems. Hmm. In their mouths, I would assume. If they have mouths? Hmm. Root. A root from a giant plant. Very useful in the crafting of new bows. Whetstone. Basic stone used by blacksmiths to grind and sharpen weapons. Can never have too many of these. I mean, the market begs to differ. <laughs> Iron. Fairly basic, but the very cornerstone of any mid-tier equipment one may wish to craft. Which is why you'll notice like these ones have the stars, because these are the ones that uh, we need for things. We need for building things, yeah. Crystal rock. A beautiful crystal of many colors. I've heard rumors of it being used as a conductor to fantastic results. Oh. Hmm. We have the mysterious water sphere. A milky white sphere of some unknown material. Containing water, emitting a strange, almost eerie light. Mm. These ones don't really have a ton of... Well, this one probably does. Not, yeah. Not a ton of lore. Just skip to the them, more interesting ones. The core or the very heart of a golem. We have found ways to harness the energy, but are un unable to create life from it. Mm. Oh, interesting. So even with all the golem jottings and stuff... Yeah. Still haven't quite figured it out. Glass lenses. Classic. Glass shaped into a lens with the sole purpose of focusing magical energy. Mm -hmm. Very useful in the crafting of magical weapons. Hmm. Crystallized energy. It would appear the energy surging through a golem crystallizes upon its destruction. Could we harness this power somehow? It's golem blood, basically. <clears throat> An ancient pot, Muriel's favorite. It has a small crack or two, but could still hold something. Beautifully crafted curious what it could have been used for i think the one that goes there's a there's a pot i bet you there's a, a type of pot in every dungeon because this the yeah. other one has that life fluid container but it looks like a fancy pot you know no we actually got a pot in that one mm -hmm. we did yeah 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 <laughs> it, it looks like a pot no, like the leaf that's yes that's what i mean it's oh. called a life fluid container i looked at oh okay it. never right. mind foundry rests I believe this to be remains of an old foundry. If the golems are created, what created them? Hmm. What keeps creating them after we bust them up every time? <laughs> Broken sword. Fairly useless in its current form, but it could easily smelt it down to craft something new. Hmm. White stone. Piece of a container for preserving the properties of infused water. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. And a water lamp. How curious. A lamp not of flame, but of glowing water. Heavier for sure, but more reliable in the long run. I wonder Safer if this is the infused water that the white stone is used for. You know? Interesting. Perhaps. We've got our classic fabric. Sturdy but rough to the touch. I imagine some would want to use this in the creation of decorations. Oh. -ho. Oh, hey, maybe that's a clue that we have to give it to the decoration guy. Mm -hmm. All right, hardened steel. The strongest steel I have come across. Perfect for crafting new equipment. Gold runes. These gold runes create wonderful patterns upon the golems. Occasionally, you can retrieve one intact after a battle. Oh, neat. Mm. Here we go. Golem volume. The text is too worn and too faded to be legible, but the carvings upon the stone cover are meticulously detailed. So mm. more of a collector's piece. Uh, the text is faded, but looks to be instructions on how to create one of the living statues found in the Gollum dungeon. Old Gollum minion design. Hmm. And we've got our old friend, the Gollum chisel. This is definitely a chisel used to carve and shape a Gollum. From its frame, I imagine the architects were not much different than ourselves. That is interesting. Mm -hmm. Got a rune tool. Looks to, to have been a tool used to inscribe text upon metal and stone. Could perhaps be used to inscribe runes upon my equipment. Hmm. 
Let's see. How many more of these we got? The numbered. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We're, we're slowly approaching number one. All right. Golem Designs 3. Finally, images on inserting a power source into a golem. Must frust... Blah. Most frustratingly, though, the part on fusing the power source is scratched out. Mm. Golem Designs 2. Further notes on how to create the physical body of a golem, but nothing on actually how to animate it. Ah, see, these are a series. Mm -hmm. These images and hastily written notes seem to resemble a schematic of some sort. Something akin to the golem roaming around the golem dungeon. Hmm. Alright, let's call this one the last one. A huge crystal with enough energy to power the enormous golem king. So yeah, this is, we got three of these. Mm hmm I've been, uh, we haven't sold any yet because I've been kind of like, what if we need them for something mm -hmm. special? I don't want to have to go down there, mm -hmm. kill it again, if we even can. Mm -hmm. So, all right, yeah, let's go ahead and call it there. We've got a few more, but we can do those next time. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks once again for watching all the way to the end with us, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed our much more successful run <laughs> through the forest dungeon. Next time, we're going to load up on potions. Mm -hmm. and uh, try to get our equipment to the best that it can be. Yep. And then we're going to go down there and we're going to see what kind of terror <laughs> uh, the uh, forest king, I assume, perhaps? Perhaps a forest queen? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Anyway, the big boss yes. of the forest dungeon. Go Tree ahead king and... Or yeah. queen. Yeah. The big Sorry. boss of the forest dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and hit that like button if you're enjoying our shenanigans and our witty banter. It helps with the algorithm. Mm -hmm. uh, be sure to like, or here I said like, subscribe and hit <laughs> the bell icon. That too. To get notified if you want to see more. And on top of all of that, before we do any more stumbling, have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. Do, 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 do,